Hello, I am Victor Paredes. I am the product manager of Moho. And I want to show you how to use the improved um, point colors. So to use this, you can just create a simple shape. I will just create a, um, a rectangle here. So I will use this tool and set auto fill and auto stroke and I just have a rectangle. All right. So now I can go to the point colors here. Please remember I'm always on frame zero when I am doing I'm building stuff. So I will use the point color tool and just click on one of the points. Actually, let me just press escape here because all the points are selected at the moment. So if I press escape, that will unselect them. So I will click in one point and now I can set a color for that point. So let's say I want some lighter green here. All right. And you can see now I have a gradient that goes from this point and it's blending with the rest of the points. So now I will select this other point here and I will select a similar color there. So a light green like that. All right. And now the preview of the point colors is uh, it doesn't look as good as the final render in this case because this um, is a heavy process. So it needs to be rendered to be seen. So if I render a preview, you can see the actual effect here and it's much smoother than what you can see here. All right. Now, one of the improvements that the point color have is that you can change the curvature of the line. So I will just use the curvature here and just change this curvature here. And if I render this, if I render a preview um, here, you can see the gradient is adapted to that. So it's it's like having a gradient that adapts to the shape. Um, so I can move this and I can animate all this and everything will be adapted to that animation. So you can see it here. Now, um, a little tip, let me just go back to the normal position of this. Like the, let's say we have that and now we, we will have that kind of gradient happening here. Um, something that you can do with these points is that if you select the shape and you remove it, I will just use the select shape tool here, select the shape and now press delete. So I have no shape here. I can add an extra line and this is a little tip I just want to show, share with you. I can add an extra line and then I can create a new shape with the create shape tool, but I will select all these points, including the line. So I will create a shape here and now this line is actually part of the shape so it's part of the point colors too and now if I don't want to see the line I can just use the hide edge tool and I will hide the line so I only see the vector but there is no more line here so what I'm going to do here is that I will take the point color at the bottom here and I will set let's say some dark a bit darker blue something like that and I will do something similar with the other point so I will select some blue and a bit darker. All right. And now I will set a curvature for this extra line here. So it will follow that. So now if I see my point color, now I have these three colors. So let's say I want to create some kind of horn for this. So I will just remove one of the points and I will create some curvature here. Let's say something like this. Maybe I can add extra points if I want. So I will have more control over what I am doing here. And now this line is going to be like that. So now if I render this, you can see I have this kind of horn that goes uh, from this white to the rest. And maybe here I can add an extra point. And maybe I can set this extra point to be white also. And maybe not so white. Maybe it will be some white bluish. And I will do I will apply a similar color for this. Like some lighter blue. And here also a lighter blue. So now if I render this, you can see I have that lighter blue and I have the the object looking like that. So it's like having gradients that you can bend and they will move with the character. So if I move this to the other side, so let's say I will move all these lines to the other side and I'm, I am creating an animation with that. 
let's say something like this and maybe like that this so now i have this animation and the gradient is moving with the animation okay so you can rig that and since the process is so heavy the preview is not uh it's not always accurate but you can always render and see how, how it works so you can apply that to create some special shading especially shading that follows the point so i think that can be very useful in some cases so that's it thank you very much for watching bye